March uh, 30th, 2014. And uh, this is the time of the year I propagate palm seeds. So uh, what I'm doing here, I have a mix of uh, Sunshine Mix 4, which is a uh, peat moss and perlite. It's kind of like a pro mix, high porosity. And I filled up the wheelbarrow full of that. And uh, what I do, I take my seeds here and I just start mixing them through that Sunshine Mix 4. I'll grab the camera and I'll show you what I do here. So I fill this up, like I say, with that mix and uh, start shaking seeds on top of it. And I uh, distribute these seeds evenly throughout the uh, growing medium. And once that's done, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put them in the seed trays. So there's a lot of seeds in here, thousands of seeds I've put through this mix. I'm going to put a few more in there anyway, but I'll give you an idea, quick idea. It's a beautiful day out here, by the way. There's the seeds, local palm seeds, Trachycarpus fortunae, actually some Wagnerianus too, and the uh, Sunshine Mix 4. And uh, this is what it looks like here. So you got lots of perlite in there. Seeds are through here, through this mix here. And uh, then I'm, when I'm done with that, I will uh, take that mix, lots of trays here. I'm going to fill my trays up. Fill the trays up with this, and you can see the seeds in there. And put them in the greenhouse, and uh, wait for them to germinate. So anybody that's interested in locally grown palms, you know where to come to. I have lots of palm trees. I think I probably have the palm tree market cornered on this island. So there we go. Nice hardy stock right there. There's some one gallon ones, lots of smaller ones over there, and some of my bigger seed grown ones. So. Easy to do, folks. And there's the greenhouse. That's where they're going to get uh, heated up so they can grow. And by June, or in June, these things should be sprouted out of here. Then I'll start pricking them out, and uh, I do ship these things on eBay. People that want locally grown palms. I have thousands of them in my garden and on my property, so. No trick to growing them foolproof here on Salt Spring Island.